What's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. We are back from Dollar General in White Oak with our entire toy haul from both Dollar General and other stores here. But we're going to show everything off we got from the toy haul in this epic video of awesomeness. And we got Final Faction up here. I'm going to show all the stuff on the table one by one and put them back in the bins I got out for this video. We got some... Oh, there, there goes the tripod again. Oh, this thing is not wanting to stay connected. I hate that. Sorry about that. The tripod stand holding the phones a bit busted. So I've had to hold on to this thing as I do the video. So sorry about that in general. We're going to look at everything on this table here. We got some Karn from the Final Faction here. Some crawlers, I think these are. Crawlers. Why not? I don't know what this thing is. Just There it goes. That's better. I don't know what the, in Jesus' name that little thing was. But yeah, this is our entire toy haul we got. Got a turret from the Alpha Team. We got... General Diabold's Chariot, which just <laughs> fell apart here. Whoops. Things that fall apart in this video, I won't kid you. And things are popping loose like crazy. I'm going to have to super glue it or something. <laughs> and that's for sure. I might have to super glue this puppy. But here we got General Diabold's Chariot of Power. And Diabold to go in the chariot. Why not? There I say, why not? We got the Karn Synthoid, the Karn drone with the launcher. Why not? <laughs> we got Transformers Authentics Bravo RC. We'll be doing her starting the week after next week. So we'll be doing her for sure. We got some more Karn. Another Karn Evolution Kit. Why not? <laughs> we got the Synthoid Evolution Kit. Why not? There I say, why not? We got the Brute Evolution with the axe and the shield. So they can go slash, slash. Even the drones have got swords. So they can go slash, slash. Sword spears. Why not? Dare I say, why not? We got another Karn with an axe. I bought two of these for these weapon packs to have two different figures. Probably why I grabbed them. We got an upgraded drone with missiles and wings so he can go flying. Why not? We love some flying drones, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and the Alpha Team has some awesome Battle Gear stuff. Tarn gets this extra pair of arms so it could be like Doc Ock. Ain't that cool? This is going to be a long haul video, so please do pardon the longness of this video and the little bit of mess-ups that you may see in this video. Let me drop in the stand from the tripod. We got this upgraded Rook, which is like a drone, it's like, a, like a mech suit for Rook, so you can be like that girl from Avatar Ripley, and she can fight the Karn muscle to muscle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Next on the figure list, we got Steel with his Firefly armor, and he's ready to fly into battle. Ain't that cool? I'm going to try to review this stuff next week, for sure. Why not? We got Steadfast gets an upgrade kit with a mechanical arm so he can bash Karn with, and this thing does not want to stay on very well, and some upgraded armor for him. Why not? He always looks good with some battle armor. That's how I'm going to display him with the battle armor. <laughs> we got Saber with some upgraded weapons. The other weapons are in this bin. I'll show those off when I review those. Next on the list, we got Scope with a bigger pack. Pack and a whole mess of guns. So we will show that off. We got another Rook battle suit. And this one has him. With a Mantec kind of suit, doesn't that take you back to like the uh, 80s or 90s? Because I never saw Mantec, but I've always posted it on Facebook, if you know what I mean. 
Well, I never watched the series, but given my buddy Bert, Bert would know more about Mantech, and this guy is is just like those Mantech guys. And he's got a missile shoulder. He's got tread feet. Oh, that is so cool. Definitely going to review him on the bucket list, for sure. Next on the list, we got another drone with the spear sword and the shield and the blaster backpack. Why not? They're kind of cool. Next on the list, we got another figure, and this is the, the drone that's piloted by that wheelchair kid, and he's got more flight flight power. Why not? And he's got his own guns. He can go pew pew, bang bang at the carn. Why not? Dare I say why not? Now we're going to move this bin off to the side here. Because <laughs> man, that was a lot of stuff in that bin. And we still got plenty of more stuff to show off here. I have to bring another bin in just to put this stuff. Okay. Of course, next on the bucket list, we got some more Mars converters. This guy is like scorn colored Stegosaurus, and he looks pretty cool. I will be reviewing him sometime next month, along with his buddy T Rex. And these are like big scale transformers that look awesome. Next on the list, we got Authentics Bravo 12 inch. Transforming Grimlock. I've been looking for that guy for a while. And for clearance stuff, we got some more clearance stuff. We got Bell from Beauty and the Beast, man. This is an awesome figure, and I'm so glad to have her. Because Bell is so similar to myself. I like to read books at times, and she likes to read books. So you could say, Bell from Beauty and the Beast and me have a thing in common. Next, we got some other stuff here. Some stuff from not any line that you might may not have heard of. But if you have heard of it, we got some stuff from Call of Duty, man. We're going to be reviewing this stuff next week. Reviewing this Call of Duty Mega Bloks stuff. And this stuff is pretty cool. Why not? I love some little figures. And I'm definitely going to review that Call of Duty stuff. We got some Imaginex we got on clearance. We got the Penguin and another Batman. And this is like Adam West colored Batman. Why not, right? Dare I say why not? They're cool. I'm definitely going to review them. But we're nearly done with this toy haul on the table. Last thing we're going to show off is something we just reviewed. But I'm showing them off on this toy haul anyway. It's Legacy Kickback. Why not? I got them off eBay for 20 bucks. And there's the first bin of stuff, the second bin of stuff done. Sorry if I have to correct myself, because there's so much. But now we're going to look at everything we got from Dollar General for 25% off. We got this awesome pack from Dino Valley, which is made by our boys at Discovery. And yeah, this stuff is pretty cool. And I like how it looks. I like... The feel of these figures, and they make noise, just like the Jurassic Park figures. And as you know, I love some dinosaurs, and I really do love some dinosaur figures. I'm going to put that in the back, because that takes up some space. We got ourselves another item from Soldier Force. And yeah, this is some stuff I heard, from, heard about from my fellow reviewer. Here in Pennsylvania, his name is Bert. If you haven't checked his channel out, I'd highly recommend you check him out. He is one of the best toy reviewers, not toy reviewers, thrift store toy collectors I know. We got so much stuff to show off, so it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> Next on the list, we got some more of these Roblox figures because I have some in my collection. Well, a couple things from Roblox, and I dig how these things look. And these are definitely going to be reviewed here on the channel. Because it's Old West! Yeehaw! And I couldn't help but pull some cowboy stuff. I love some western stuff. We got ourselves another Power Rangers Beast Morphers figure, and this is the Yellow Ranger. She's like almost a 12-inch figure. 
So we will be reviewing her. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. We got some Marvel, some more Marvel stuff to do. We got Thanos. Good old Thanos from Marvel. Why not? We got Iron Patriot from Iron Man 3. Based on the Iron Man 3 Iron Patriot. Why not? Because I love some Iron Man suits. I really do. And we got some more Dino Valley figures. This is the Dino Valley Stegosaurus. And these, these wonderful figures make noise. And I love some noise making figures. And we got three out of four of these, basically, because we're still missing one. <laughs> if we ever see the other one, we will get it. We got another T-Rex in the house. And I love some T-Rexes. And these are pretty cool. We are missing the Velociraptor, apparently. But we got everything else from this line. Next, we got the good old... The good old... Triceratops here. And last but not least, we got a couple of random Dino Valley packs. We got this one with another T-Rex and a Brontosaurus and an assortment of weapons to give to our Dino Valley soldiers or soldier people and safari guys. Why not? We got another one with some more Velociraptors. Oh man, this guy's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> and that's everything we got from good, not good, 